I liken an artist to a parent. You spend years raising your kids, but in the end, they go out into the world and surprise you. The poet Cahil Gibran once said, Your children are not your children. They are the sons and daughters of life's longing for itself. They come through you, but not from you. And though they are with you, yet they belong not to you. For their souls dwell in the house of tomorrow, which you cannot visit, no, not even in your dreams. I can't, of course, travel to the house of tomorrow, but I can occasionally visit a collector's home and see for myself the kind of effect my art is having in its new life, beyond the studio. Karen and Rob met on an aeroplane. She got an upgrade to first class on the way back from the conference, and the rest, as they say, is history. Today, they live here, in a spectacular contemporary Spanish fusion home nestled in the hills above California's Monterey Bay. Rob is the owner of Pacific Edge Capital that invests in startup companies and transportation equipment portfolios, which explains his passion for cars and old British motorcycles. Karen manages medical imaging centers for a large health system in the East Bay and loves to ride horses. So Rob, we're out here, your really fun home out in the hills of Monterey. Um, you've selected a bunch of my artwork for your home, but I, what I want, want to know is like, why Simon Bull? Simon, it's all new. It's, it's a new style, it's bright, it's alive, it brings more energy than the traditional realistic paintings and landscapes that we've had or have had in the past, and it just uh, it complements the house and it's just it's, it's the perfect harmony of the lifestyle that we want to have. So it just is every day it's uh, brighter and more creative than regular paintings, I would say. And it all started with one painting, Glory Years, and looking at that and having that in the house and said, well, let's, let's see what happens if we add more and more and more. And it's just <laughs> so tell me about that Glory Years, because I believe, Karen, like it was your favorite piece, right, as well? Like you like the florals? It was, it was. And uh, so we went online because it was during the COVID shutdowns. So we couldn't go to your gallery. But we went online and um, we saw it. I, I said, oh my gosh, that is the most stunning beautiful, vibrant painting of the flowers that we were looking for. And uh, so your team brought it over and hung it on the wall and then it just came to life. I mean, right. the whole room, um, it's a beautiful room, but you know, more sedate because we wanted artwork to kind of bring the whole room to life. Right. And, and I think that's what it did. It just is, it, and then of course we, uh, we wanted a sister painting, and there wasn't one quite the right size, so we uh, kind of asked you to make a sister painting. It was stunning. It came out beautiful. So I think they're a perfect complement to each I other. I think Rory liked it. Rory loves it. Absolutely. Everybody's looking for a cool Zoom background. I think you found the perfect piece. I believe it. I, really I think do. that's, that's your favorite piece, right? It is my favorite of all of your works and of all of my works. <laughs> so, <laughs> so what, what do you like so about that piece in particular? Just the, the amazing flow of the colors, the application of the, the, uh, the texture of the paint so it's in a way three-dimensional and it just makes you happy to look at. It just feels uh, it's a subliminal or metaphysical energy that comes out of the painting and probably you put your heart into it oh, and, and we carry it on and we get to heaven love that right in our home any room any time day or night when the light is dim the painting is still there and it stands out which is so special about it that's I really love cool. that and I just literally thought of that now but that's one of the reasons why that even when there's no lights on in the house we just say wow yeah. it's, uh, it's just good and, and it's different methods without using traditional brushes all the time and the heaviness of the paint and it's just really really nice really enjoyable I never would have imagined uh, 
uh, a year ago or so that I would want to collect your work so much, but it's uh, pretty much Previously, you, uh, you were more into like collecting motorcycles. Oh, yes, ones, yes, right? I know. Absolutely. I could have bought a lot of bikes instead, but I got the paintings. But I live with the paintings. I don't have to buy license plates for them. I don't have to charge the batteries. It's great. <laughs> This is uh, this is good pita. Was mm -hmm. it from Whole Foods or something? <laughs> yes, of course. <laughs> okay, well, mm. Mm. Hey, Rory. Come on. Good boy. Mm. So, where's the wine from? Uh, it's from the Davis Estates Winery in Calistoga. It's their Zephyr Cabernet Blend. It's one of my favorites, sort of medium, medium bold, but. Well, I love me some good Napa Valley wines because, of course, we have our other gallery up there. Yes. Or yes. St. Helena. Yeah. So that's we actually great. drove up there. They both had favorites, but there was one piece that Rob was not so sure about. Karen loved it, so it was up to her to convince him. There were a couple of pieces, one in particular, that like immediately you like you had to work it through a little bit right yes <laughs> yes <laughs> in the morning so what, what was that kind of? <laughs> it's called in the morning and it's um it's in our media room okay and uh i just immediately fell in love with it, it was one of my top three paintings that you did for us or that you did and we um we chose for our home and i just love the vibrant colors and the and the the circles or the spheres that you and, and then the way the, the paint um, blended with other paint colors, and I just think it's, I couldn't have imagined another painting for the media room. Mm. And um, to me, it's really special, and it's perfect for that room, and Rob... Um, he was a bit of a hard sell on it. it, it for right? sure, for sure. I think I've still got him coming around, but I think he's almost sold. <laughs> yes, yes, it's... Um Someone's going to pay the bills, right? I, yeah, I, I know <laughs> oh what it does God. for the room, and it is it is a good fit, and it is bright and bold, and it's an example of another creative way that you express your works with the, the uh, acrylics, and so that I told no, no, it's, it's 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 very well done. But but, but more than uh, anything, I just yeah. think I think it remind I think it pulls the whole room together because of the gold um, record that you have. Yeah. And um, yeah, tell from the me, Moody Blues. That's, right, that's interesting because yeah. that's the thing that really so, stuck out to me when I went in. And I'm like, there's a golden record in here. Yes. And it looks like it was stolen from the painting. Absolutely. <laughs> so that's why my connection. Right. So, but why is there a gold record in the room? What's that about? Rob's a no, music I, guy in the. Yeah, I've always been a fan of the Moody Blues. And through <laughs> connections, I became a financial another advisor British, to the British group. keyboard player. Yes, and the best British group, even. And, and the Beatles, of course. But, Come uh, on. Yeah, some other memorabilia from the keyboard player as well that uh, since he was a friend of mine so it's really cool oh it's it was fun <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>